Hey everyone, here's another easy makeup look just in time for New Year's Eve. I hope you like this look, let's get started and I'll show you what I used. I already applied my foundation and filled in my brows to speed things along. I used the Makeup Forever HD foundation in 125. To prime the eyes, I used Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I applied that on the lid all the way up to the brow bone. For this look, I used the Naked 3 palette and started with the grey eyeshadow called Dark Side. I placed this color on the lid and up to the crease with a flat synthetic brush to ensure there wasn't going to be a lot of fallout. I applied two layers of the shadow to build up the color to get a really smoky look. Next I used a blending brush to make sure there were no harsh edges in the crease and soften the grey. From the Stila in the No palette, I took this matte grey shadow called Smoke and I added that to my crease giving the eyes some dimension and making it even smokier. I went back in with the dark side shade and used my favorite crease brush right now from London Brush Company. It's perfect for darkening up the crease and building up the color along the outer edges and inner tear duct. Here I used the brush that came with the Naked 3 palette to add a spotlight to the center of the eyes. For this I used Dust, which is a pretty light pink shade, and placed that in the center, making sure to keep it pretty tight and not blending too much into the gray on either sides. So it's just focusing on the center. For the brow bone, I used Strange, which is a perfect matte highlighting shade to make your eyes really pop. The first liner I used was Stila's Smudge Stick in Stingray, and I traced that along my lash line. Doing this first helps build up a strong black and gives you a trace line before using a liquid eyeliner on top. For this, I used Maybelline's Precise Liquid Liner and followed along top of the pencil to do my winged eyeliner. For concealer, I used NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger underneath the eyes in a triangle shape. I also used this along the bridge of the nose and around the lips to highlight, which is amazing if you'll be taking pictures. And let's be serious, this is New Year's, we all know there's going to be some New Year's Eve selfies. Of course we had to add some lashes, and these are my favorite pair from the SL Miss Glam Mink line, and these are called Seduced Glam. What a difference. I think throwing on a pair of falsies is essential for a New Year's Eve look. To finish the eyes, I used Dark Side on my lower lash line, and I stuck to just a shadow to keep my eyes looking soft. To brighten the inner tear duct, I used the Stila Smudge Stick in Angelfish, and I applied that along my lower lash lid and up onto the lid itself. Then I applied a quick coat of mascara to the bottom lashes and the eyes are done. For bronzer, I used Smashbox Sunkissed Matte and lightly applied this to the cheeks and up around the forehead. I then used Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder to contour and this was the perfect cool tone powder that I had because the makeup I did was rather cool and this kept in theme with that. For blush, I used Illamasqua's Nymph and lightly added this to my cheeks and blended up. I tried to use just a light dusting of this pink because if you add too much, which I did, you'll have to take a blending brush to tone it down. Woo! Too much pink is what I was saying, so I had to blend that all in. For highlight, I used Stila's Kitten Duo and used just the one side, which was the pink toned highlighter, to keep with the theme of this cooler toned makeup and I lightly applied that to my cheekbones. I kept the lips quite simple by applying the Kevin Aquan Medium Lip Liner and just drawing slightly outside of my natural lip line. Then I filled them in to darken them up and on top I used MAC See Through Lip Glass. And here is my New Year's Eve makeup. I hope you guys like this look and have a chance to recreate the makeup. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and let's connect already. Happy New Year everyone and I'll see you all in 2015.